Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. I'm Dr. Yosef and today we're going to be diving into a topic that might seem daunting at first. That is making tapering math easy for liquid micro tapers. I know a lot of people out there are feeling overwhelmed with all of the math involved in tapering their medications. So don't worry, we are here to help you through it. If you're not keen on the hassle of weighing pills for your taper and kind of dry cutting them, or the thought of the imprecision of dissolving tablets in water, you're gonna like this because when you use a compounded liquid micro taper, not only is it fast to do, but it can be completely made for you at the compounding pharmacy with all the quality control that comes with professionals making your suspension. So first up, what exactly is a micro taper? In simple terms, it's when you reduce your dose frequently, sometimes every single day, and we do this to lessen the withdrawal symptoms that you experience during your taper. This is gonna be in contrast to the cut and hold method where you might pull out a whole 5% drop on one day once a month. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't wanna try micro tapers and that's because they're worried about the math of doing these. So today we're gonna to show you that all of that math is really not that scary. So without further ado, here are the easiest ways to taper a drug using a compounded liquid formulation. And this works for any drug that can be turned into a liquid. So unfortunately, this is not gonna be for Cymbalta or Pristique. And if you stick with us to the end, we're also gonna share a super handy method to adjust your tapering speed if needed. Plus, I'm gonna throw in some tips on how to get your doctor on board with this approach. So to begin with, you're going to need to get your medications compounded. Using a regular manufactured liquid won't work for this. And that's because the method that we're gonna be using is gonna be based on the increments on the syringes we use. And all of this is gonna sound very complicated, but I promise you, it's gonna be much easier when I show you. To start, you're gonna need two syringes. You're gonna need a three milliliter syringe and you're also gonna need a 0.5 milliliter syringe. And we strongly recommend that you use these ones, which we're gonna be linking in the descriptions below this video, because everything we do is based on the line increments of these syringes. And so what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that on this 0.5 milliliter syringe, you actually have 10 little spaces between each of the larger numbers. So between the 0.4 and the 0.5, there's 10 spaces, and that's really important when we're gonna be doing this taper. Also, when I look at this three milliliter syringe, it's the same thing. So between the large numbers, so the two and the three, you're gonna notice that we have 10 spaces and that's really important for this method to work. So we're going to be going through three different dosing patterns. We're gonna be going through a once a day, a twice a day and a three times a day dosing pattern. We're gonna show how you can do all of these with this liquid micro taper. Let's start with a once a day dosing. Imagine that you're taking 4.2 milligrams of Valium daily. The smallest syringe available is the 0.5 milliliter syringe. And this is what's gonna allow us to easily remove 0.01 milliliters easily. What is 0.01 milliliters? Well, that would be the smallest space on this syringe. So it would be the difference between being all the way at the end and then just moving it forward, just a tiny increment. So it's just one space. So if you wanted to remove 0.01 milliliters, yep, that tiny little space each day for 30 days, you would remove 0.3 milliliters. And wouldn't it be easy if that led to a 5% reduction over the month? Well, this can be done. And that is so long as you start with a six milliliter solution. And that's because six milliliters minus 0.3 equals 5.7 milliliters. And 5.7 milliliters is exactly 95% of six milliliters. And that is exactly how you would easily do a micro taper on a single day dosing schedule. And let me show you what this would look like. So here's what this would look like, you know, to be at the current dose of your medication after you get it compounded into the six milliliters, you would need to essentially take six milliliters a day to be at the same dose. So what would this look like with syringes? So because we're using the three milliliter syringe, you would have to completely fill one to three milliliters. And then you would take another syringe and you would completely fill it all the way to 2.5. And then with the final syringe, the little one, you're gonna bring that all the way up to the top. And so what we have now is going to be three milliliters plus 2.5 plus 0.5, and that equals six. 
And so that's your full dose if you didn't change anything. What you would now do is every day you would take this syringe and this syringe and at the start of your taper, each day you're now going to re remove one of these little increments. And so you'd go from day one, you'd go to 4.9, 0.49, day two, 0.48, day three, 0.47, and so on and so forth. And then over the space of 30 days, you're going to end up all the way down at 0.2. And so essentially what you've now done is you've um, gone to 5.7 and essentially you've, you've micro tapered. You've, you've taken out one tiny increment every single day for the last 30 days. And you would just keep on going this way. And as you'd go down, if you kept on continuing this, you would finish this last point two, and then you would need to readjust this syringe. And so then you would bring this syringe all the way down to two milliliters, and then you would keep on going down here from the top, and then you would go all the way down to 0 0.4, and that's where you would end up at the end of the second 30 day period. And you would just do this the whole way down and that would be a daily liquid micro taper. And to do this, your doctor would need to send a specific script to the pharmacy, which I'm gonna flash up on the screen now so you can see how it's written. Please prepare a compounded liquid formulation of Valium with a ratio of 4.2 milligrams to six milliliters. The patient will take six milliliters of this liquid daily. Please dispense a total of 190 milliliters to cover a 30-day period. This amount includes an additional 10 milliliters to account for wastage due to the residual loss of the liquid in the slip tip of the syringe during dosing. So what about twice a day dosing? Say for instance, you were taking the same amount of Valium, but instead of 4.2 all in you know, one six milliliter syringe, now you wanted to do 2.1 in two syringes. Well, this is pretty common because we do a lot of this with the benzodiazepines, which have short half-lives. So essentially it's, it's gonna be the same process split over two syringes. Let me show you what that looks like. So here we have our two times a day dosing. It's essentially gonna be the same amount uh, that we had when we were doing it in once a day, but we've divided it in two. So in our morning dose, with our big syringe, we're gonna go up to 2.5 at the start, and then we're gonna fill our little syringe all the way up to 0.5. Together, that's gonna to equal three, and then it's the, exactly the same in the evening dose. However, this is how we're going to do things now. So on the first day of your taper, you're going to remove one little increment here, and you're not gonna to touch the one on the top. You're gonna to leave that the same. And then on the second day, you are going to remove an increment here, and you're not gonna to touch the one at the start. And then on the third day, you're gonna go back over to this one, and remove a little increment. You're not gonna to touch that one. And then on the fourth day, you're gonna come and move this one. And so on and so forth. So over the 30 day period, what you're gonna find is simultaneously, you know, alternating days, you're gonna move this down essentially 15 spaces on the, the one that syringe, and you're gonna move it down 15 spaces on this syringe. And it's exactly the same as with the initial taper that we were just doing a moment ago. The ultimate result is you're gonna lose 30 spaces, little ones, and that is gonna to equal to a 5% drop. And that's how you would do that with a twice a day dosing schedule. And so what would this script look like if you were gonna get this written by your doctor? Well, I'm gonna post it up here on the screen so you can check it out. So the script will say, please prepare a compounded liquid formulation of Valium with a ratio of 2.1 milligrams to three milliliters. The patient will take three milliliters of this liquid twice a day. Please dispense a total of 190 milliliters to cover the 30 day period. This is going to include an additional 10 milliliters to account for wastage due to residual loss of the liquid in the slip tip of the syringe during dosing. So what about a three times a day dosing pattern? Again, this is very commonly used for benzodiazepine tapers and we use it often to minimize interdose withdrawal. And this is exactly the same. It follows the same principles of reducing one space on each dose every single day, you know, alternating the days. So what is this gonna look like for a three times a day dosing pattern? It's gonna be a little different this time. 
Instead of it being all the way up at 2.5, now we're just at 1.5 on the big syringe and we're at 0.5 here on the little syringe. And so that's gonna be the same for the afternoon dose and then also for the evening dose. And essentially, you know, this is equal to two milliliters, that one's two milliliters and that one's two milliliters. So again, it's, it's still the same amount that we've been using the entire time. But here's the difference. So when we start our taper, we're going to, on the, on the first day, we're gonna lose one space on this syringe and we're gonna keep the other two the same. Then on day two, we're gonna now lose a space on this syringe. And then on day three, we're gonna lose a space on this syringe. And then on day four, we're gonna move this one forward a little bit. And then day five, we're gonna move this one forward a little bit, just one space. And then day six, this one, and so on and so forth until by the end of a 30 day period, what you're gonna find is you have lost 10 spaces on each of these little syringes. And essentially you're at uh, 5.7 out of six. And so that is a 5% reduction that was evenly split over these three different syringes. And if you needed your doctor to send this to a pharmacy, this is how you would write the script. Please prepare a compounded liquid formulation of Valium with a ratio of 1.4 milligrams to two milliliters the patient will take two milliliters of this liquid three times a day. Please dispense a total of 190 milliliters to cover a 30 day period, including an additional 10 milliliters to account for wastage due to residual loss in the slip tip of the syringe during dosing. Now, if you need to slow down your taper, you can simply halve the rate by adding a day between reductions. This will effectively halve the amount of drops you make over a 30 day period, and it will turn a 5% reduction into a 2.5% reduction. And the opposite is gonna apply if you need to speed up. You would simply drop two increments per day instead of one. So if we were gonna halve the rate of reduction for a once a day dosing and we were gonna slow it down, what we would do is, um, so again, just like we had before, you know, three milliliters in one syringe, 2.5 in the second three milliliter syringe, and then a full one here. How it would work is you would take it down one, and then the next day you wouldn't do anything. You would keep it the same. And then the day after that, you would take it down again. And so instead of losing 30 spaces over the course of a 30 day taper, you would actually just lose 15. And so that effectively is gonna halve the rate of reduction. And this same principle will apply if you're doing twice a day dosing. And so let me show you that quickly. So essentially with twice a day dosing, what you would do if you wanted it to be a 2.5% reduction over 30 days, you would, you know, on, on day one, you would lower this one. On day two, you wouldn't touch anything. Remember previously we would have touched the one in the evening. And so now we don't do anything on the second day. Then on the third day, now we're going to move this one. And then on the fourth day, we're not gonna do anything. And then on the fifth day, we're gonna do this and um, so on and so forth. And we're gonna take one day off between every reduction. And I won't show you this for the three times a day dosing pattern, but essentially it's the same. You just take a day off between each uh, reduction and that will effectively halve the rate that you're lowering it down. The next thing I'd like to add is that as your taper progresses and the doses become smaller, you might find yourself having to add more and more days in between your doses, and this will make it less of a micro taper and more of a cut and hold. And if that happens to you, you may need to adjust your concentration, which means changing the compounding ratio. So let's consider a hypothetical example where you are now down to 1.8 milligrams of Valium daily. So to do this, you would simply adjust your numbers. And this is how it would look like. For daily dosing, prepare a liquid ratio of 1.8 milligrams to six milliliters for twice a day dosing, it would be half of that. So it would be prepare a ratio of 0.9 milligrams to three milliliters. And for three times a day dosing, it would be prepare a ratio of 0.6 milligrams to two milliliters. And we would have the same ending. And that is to dispense a total of 190 milliliters to cover a 30 day period, including an additional 10 milliliters to account for wastage due to residual loss in the slip tip of the syringe during dosing. So like I was saying, you would still need to have 190 milliliters dispensed monthly for all of these. 
And that's because we're only changing the concentration, but we want to preserve the easy math that allows us to do to remove those 30 small increments per 30 days and have it equal that 5% reduction. Finally, a tip on discussing this with your doctor. Keep it simple. Simply say that you're afraid of tapering quickly due to withdrawal and you've heard of people being very successful with tapering with liquids where they remove roughly 5% increments per month. Let them know that you've worked out an easy way to do this with some syringes and ask if they would be willing to compound the current dose of your medication into a liquid solution so you can do this slow taper. If they agree, show them a draft of a prescription you have written out and ask them if they would be comfortable calling it in to the compounding pharmacy. Make sure you already have a compounding pharmacy picked out because that will make it even easier for your doctor. And remember, some doctors are just gonna continue prescribing the original liquid amount of the medication and, and that will just last longer and longer as you taper, but others may want to adjust the monthly prescription to match your reduced needs. And that's it. I hope this video makes your tapering journey a bit more manageable. If you found this helpful, don't forget to share and subscribe for more. And if you're looking for someone to help you with your tapering, we work in several US states that are listed on my website in the link below this video. And so thank you so much for watching and take care.